Hi everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet and today's tutorial is on the Snake Knot Viceroy. For this tutorial, you will need paracord and I'm using here two different colors of 550 cord. I have Caribbean and silver gray and this bracelet follows a general rule of about a foot of paracord per inch that you want in your bracelet. Um, I'll also be using a buckle and this is one of our new glitter buckles. A jig is helpful in this one. You don't necessarily need to use it but it will help. Um, and I'll use a couple of fits for at the end of the bracelet and a lighter and you'll also need a scissors. So the first thing that you'll want to do is weld your pear cord together somewhere. Here we are. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, you'll want to do that now. And then since this is about the halfway point of your bracelet, of course, um, you'll just um, fold it over there and put it in through the top of the buckle. And then just loop it over the top forming a cow's hitch and pull tight. And then you'll go to the other ends of your cords. I mean, it's helpful if you run them through your fingers there so you know there's not any uh, tangles or anything like that. And then go in through the top of your buckle over here and pull it through. Okay. So now you would either measure it against your wrist or you can use your jig and it will already be measured for you of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip mine right in here. And then I'll want one cord going on each side. And the jig is helpful with this weave because it doesn't stay tight like as if you're doing the cobra it knots and it'll hold its place. This bracelet does not really do that. So we're going to start ours the same way that Mr. Coop showed to start his. Um, doing it this way it will pull the cords together up here and you'll just give it a really nice look for starting out here. So what you'll do is just cross them over the top like that. Bring your left end and go through the loops here. Then you'll take your other cord. You'll go through the loops here as well. So loosely, this is what it should look like. Then you'll just gently pull them tight. Okay, so now this is a pretty simple weave. So all you're gonna do here then is take your cord on the left Go through the center there, take your cord on the right, go through the center to the left, so just like that. And then you'll pull them tight, push them up, and then it'll do is twist them, just like that. And then you'll do the same thing. Take your cord on the left, go through the middle, take your cord on the right, and go through the middle just like that. And then push them up and pull them tight. And then again, twist them. And that is all there is to it. You're doing a thing very, very similar to the uh, fishtail bracelet with just a little bit of a twist in there. Okay, let's do one more here. Keep that steady there. Okay. So you're gonna always start with the same cord. So I'm always doing my left one on top, because otherwise then it'll get weird there. So take the right one there, loosely again. Tighten it up, and then be pushing this up. So this is what I have going so far, and I'll meet you guys when we are down here, and I'll show you how to finish it off. So this is what I have so far on my Snake Knot Viceroy. Um, as you can see here, I have now attached the fits to do these last couple of 
stitches here just because you get in uh, close to the buckle and you can't really get the cord in by yourself. Um, if you don't have fids, we do have them on our website or you can use a needle nose pliers or something like that to assist you with the end part. So this will be the last one here then. Okay, and these are staying nice and pretty snug in there. So what I'm gonna do is take it off of the jig here. And then you will cut them off pretty close to here, burn them. If you do them at the same time, you can kind of get the wax together or the cords melted together and they will not slip through your buckle there. Okay, so here's my Snake Knot Viceroy. Um, as you can see, it does have what is the looks of a snake knot right here, I think. Um, but you do it in the same style as a fishtail. So this is kind of what the three look like. So it is kind of a combination, I think, of the snake knot and a fishtail. But it has a pretty cool look to it. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to um, post them below and we will be sure to check them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you next week.